Okay, good. So if the flashlight turns on, what kind of light or what kind of energy is that? If it turns on, Chris? Light. If the flashlight turns on, it has light energy. Well, we know that based off key concept number four right here in front of Derek, nothing creates energy. If something has energy, it must have been transferred from something else. So if you see light energy, it had to have been transferred from something else, right? That being what? What would it be transferred from? Dustin? <coughs> the hand crank. More specifically, where does it have to come from? Not just the hand crank, but... Good, the person who's cranking. Okay? So if I'm cranking this hand crank flashlight, it's on. I'm transferring my kinetic energy from my hand the kinetic energy on the battery or on the flashlight there's a generator in there it causes that kinetic energy to be converted into light energy or electrical energy which then goes into light okay so however you want to work that i think the flashlight does not work without an energy source i think that's because what else austin oh never mind Good? It does not work because it has to get energy from somewhere in order for it to work. Mm -hmm. Energy has to be transferred to this flashlight. Okay? Whenever you're done, hit the purple hand in button and move on. Activity number two. So this is going to take about 10 minutes. Okay? With a partner, use the word relationship card to create sentences to answer the chapter two question. How can the rescue workers get energy to the batteries and their equipment during rescue mission? Use at least two words from the word relationship card in each sentence. You don't have to use all the words. There are many different ways to answer the chapter two question. So try to create as many sentences as you can. You can also use multiple sentences to express your ideas. When you have created your sentences, join another pair of students and share your responses. So, you will see on the screen and on, on your screen, there are five words. Convert, transfer, energy, potential energy, and kinetic energy. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be getting with a partner. Okay? Get with a partner, and with that partner, you're going to kind of quiz each other. So, what I mean by that is, let's say uh, Edwin. Edwin and I are partners, right, Edwin? We're partners. I'm going to be quizzing Edwin, and he's going to be doing the same thing to me. I might say, Edwin, create a sentence answering the chapter two question using the words energy and convert. 
so that everyone needs to think. How can the red school workers get energy with an answer? You want to think about the answer to that. And then you also want to add in energy and convert. So you might say something about like, if I were to crank the hand crank generator, it would convert, right, energy into electrical energy so it can power the flashlight. What a wonderful answer, Edwin. Good job. Edwin would then come back and do the same thing to me. He'd say, Mr. Wolf, create a sentence using the words potential energy and kinetic energy. And I might say potential energy gets converted to kinetic energy every time they have to run during their rescue missions or blah, 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 whatever. Okay? So he's going to go back and forth. You have three options of what you want to do with your sentences. Option one, write them down. I have pieces of paper up here. Option two, you want to open like a Google Doc or something and type them out in there? Sweet. Option three, remember them in your head. Okay? For the reason of, if you take a look at tab three, you don't have to open it. Writing a scientific argument, you're going to write something. If you have three to four to five sentences already made, you can probably plug those into your argument and make your argument easier. Okay? Questions of what we're doing today. So I'm going to give you 10 minutes, partner up, create sentences using at least two words. Okay? Good?